what's up guys welcome back once again it is me mold so happy to be here with you this weekend on saturday we are having a <clears throat> good old time and as you can see on the screen we've got a new town hall 10 farming base design guys super super stoked about this now that i'm in this farming clan eliminate farms we are doing some big things the roster is shaping up as you can see um everybody in here so far fills all the requirements um a lot of these people, if y'all see your name in here, go ahead and comment down in the description down below. I'm super, super excited about this, guys. We're going to keep growing the clan um, and all that kind of stuff. Who is this guy? I don't I don't think you meet the requirement. Uh, I got I to gotta edit this first. <laughs> all right, so here is our new Town Hall 10 farming base design. Um, I really want to protect my gold, obviously, because I love my gold. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start off by putting one of those in the middle as well as one of our dark elixir, uh, <laughs> one of our only dark elixir uh, in the middle as well. That's going to go right here and then we're going to protect those with the eggs bows and then we are going to bring in our, um, our clan castle right here. So there's the center core but it's not done yet. You can see these two little wings that come off of it. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw in a Inferno Tower right here and a Tesla right here, Inferno Tower right here, and a Tesla right here. Um, and for anyone who's like Town Hall 9, you can still use this design. Just throw, um, throw some Teslas in where those Infernos are or Giant Bombs, obviously. You can always switch those up or even Builder's Huts. Um, so now let's keep working our way around. We're going to bring another Gold Storage right here as well and then get our other inferno tower right there we're going to put a little bit of a gap and then we're going to protect our air defense and then our mortar so that's going to go right there let's keep on working our way around um, so we are going to have one more tesla up here in the corner so again you can always replace that with giant bombs or something along those lines um, and then i'm going to throw a giant bomb right up in there uh, as well now we're going to bring in our elixir. It's going to be in the back of this section so that it's protected. Um, and then we have our wizard right here protecting both of those storages. It's very, very important to have your wizard protecting your storages because they are freaking beast mode. Um, we're going to bring this in here. And as you can see, I have these little walls that jut out. Um, that's just so that nobody, if somebody drops wall breakers, they aren't going to get into this section as well. And then that way the troops have to go over those spring traps. You'll see the same thing right here. Um, if somebody drops wall breakers off right here, it's only going to attack these two, and then these walls are going to stay intact. Um, so that's why that's designed that way. Let's go ahead and keep on bringing the rest of our defenses and our buildings in. We're going to throw in this um, wizard tower right here, bring in our, not our, oh, no, yeah, our max level cannon. I just drew a blank for a second. And our archer tower right there. Let's keep on working our way around. We've got an archer tower in this spot, and we've got a cannon over here. So if anybody comes in here, they're going to get wrecked trying to get into our resources. Let's put our other gold storage right here next to those inferno towers. Another space, archer tower, and mortar. Uh, the mortars are close to the edge because people use barch a lot um, on me. And now if the mortars are a little bit closer, all of the barbarians are going to get hit and you don't want your barbarians to die. So that's why those are there. We're gonna go ahead and bring in this wizard tower again, throw this elixir storage right here. We're gonna put an archer tower on the inside of the base because its range is pretty good and because we have an extra one to fill in that spot. And then we're gonna put another archer tower right here as well as uh, our lowly barbarian king. And again, you can see these double trap areas and these single trap areas right here which uh, I feel like are going to work pretty well, so I'm excited for those. Let's go ahead and bring in this Tesla and then a cannon right here as well. And um, yeah, we're just going to keep working our way around and going after it. We've got another archer tower right here as well as another mortar right here. And you can see the mortar is one spot away from the wall. So there's that little gap right there uh, just to help out with the range of archers and things like that and this way if there well if there are barbarians right up against the wall then the mortar is not gonna be able to hit it you can see from that line right there um but otherwise we should be good to go let's go ahead and bring this other wizard tower in right here and this other cannon right here as well as this elixir storage and this archer tower right there then we're gonna bring in our last expo right here you can see that they're kind of triangulated around the base um, i do want to leave them down um, 
just because in case I get attacked by Balloonian and stuff like that, I want to be able to uh, protect my base. So we're going to bring in this, uh, this last air defense and this last mortar right here and then our last archer tower and our last cannon right there and we're gonna go ahead and save that village right there and you guys can see uh the layout of the base if you want at the beginning of it i left it blank for a little bit you can just take a screenshot and fill it in um so far on defense i've only been town hall sniped for the most part beside this guy we can watch this and see what happens it's kind of a bam attack strategy um but i haven't even watched this one yet so he definitely takes out the town hall it doesn't have max level um doesn't have max level minions or anything like that. So he's just barging my collectors right now. Um, and you can see the mortars doing work to those uh, to those barbarians, like I was saying. Um, they do a really, really good job of covering it. Uh, and then the archer towers and the wizards, of course, are going to take out the minions for us. So he doesn't get that much loot at all, but that's also because there wasn't really any of my collectors. Only got 33%, so... That's the worst attack that I've experienced so far, and I've been up in Crystal and Crystal One and Masters Three, so uh, it's been going pretty well. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Just wanted to show y'all a quick new Town Hall Ten farming base build. Um, I'm super, super stoked about it, and yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, make sure that you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.